Well, good morning, everyone. As, as most of you know, I don't even need a mic most of the times, but uh, since I have one supplied this morning, I will go ahead and use it. Um, I want to welcome everyone um, to another beautiful morning uh, in Truckee. Uh, no wind, the sun is out, no thunderstorms, uh, no fires, and uh, we're looking forward to a, another wonderful day. Um, uh, today is uh, our kickoff and our uh, groundbreaking of the downtown uh, community park project. Um, I'd like to make some uh, early introductions uh, this morning. Uh, first, um, the general manager for the Truckee Duck Donner Rec and Park District, Steve Randall. <laughs> the board of directors, um, we have uh, several of them here this morning. Uh, Mark, Mark Wasley. Jason Hansford, and Peter, good to see you again this morning. Uh, I'm also a member of uh, uh, the board, and this morning, unfortunately, Kristen could not be, uh, be with us. Um, I'd also, um, you know, as we're gonna have quite a few introductions today, um, want to um, acknowledge, uh, uh, first off, Kelly, where'd you go? I'm right here. Oh, I can't see. <laughs> Kelly Cutler with, uh, with Contractors Association, uh, our director, who's making all of this happen this morning. And she should really be the one up here uh, speaking instead of me. So um, we'll kind of try to go through this really, you know, fairly quickly, but and, and make uh, appropriate thank yous. Um, but uh, this started about four years ago um, on a board tour where all my fellow board members and I were meeting with Steve Randall and several other members of the uh, Truckee Donner Rec and Park staff and saw, for lack of better words, an old blighted park facility here that hadn't had a lot of attention um, in the last five to 10 years. And it became a new vision and idea where this park could be something different, better, and really, downtown attribute that becomes the kind of the, the bonding area, the, the space where us as community citizens, us as Truckee, Truckeeites, um, and everyone could come down and enjoy and be part of the downtown climate. Um, it's kind of a combination of what's happening in, in new Truckee, for lack of better words, to the, to the east, Old Truckee to the west, and this is kind of the, the central central spot. And so we just saw that this was a great opportunity um, to create something new and to revitalize um, a downtown space. And so over the last four years, it's definitely been challenging with, as we all know, COVID over the last year and a half has made it challenging for fundraising and just getting together to, to make the culmination of, of the car park groundbreaking to happen um, and and it became a lot bigger as Steve Randall and I were literally just talking something that seemed like a small little project took on a life of its own it seems you know when you see on paper a quarter acre this is a big project this is the largest project that the Contractors Association of Truckee Tahoe community projects has ever taken on. They've done almost 30 projects, and this has an um, overall um, budget of almost $600,000 with more than 30 different partners um, from the build standpoint, 25 different partners um, from a financial contribution standpoint. This has taken on a role that CAT probably never realized they were gonna get involved with. So when Truckee Donner Rec and Park District and I came to CAT and said, hey, we don't want you to be a partner. They're like, the board of directors for CAT probably said, oh, great, yeah, another community project, we'd like to do it. And this has become Kelly's full-time job to some degree. <laughs> and so, um, really want to step up, uh, to give huge accolades and thanks to CAT, because without them, this project would, wouldn't be able to happen. And, and this is a grassroots community 
project. And so that being said, early on, um, uh, when we first had the vision, uh, I'm a general contractor. Uh, again, Mark, Mark, Mark Tanner, if you don't know me. Um, I, we need to bring an, an expert, someone that knows parks, landscaping, hardscaping, and can really create the vision and talk with the community members about what's important, what's needed, how it's gonna bridge from our youth, two and three year olds, to our seniors in the community and, and everyone in between. And uh, a good friend of mine and, uh, and uh, local, uh, Patrick with High West Landscape, took this vision on. And where typically this would be in the hundreds of thousands of dollars to develop this, Patrick did this all pro bono, no costs, spent tons of time, energy. And this is where this project took on a different life because I was thinking, oh, little project. <laughs> Designing for ADA, for accessibility, dealing with the town of Truckee over the last two years, from building, planning, engineering. I don't think Patrick understood what it was gonna to take to get this through the planning process. What we all thought was maybe just a, a rubber stamp and like, hey, we're gonna build a little park in downtown Truckee on the rec department property. Oh no, check the box. And, and, and it was a lot of help with the town as well, but that definitely took a lot longer and a lot more work than we ever thought. So um, I wanna thank Patrick for sticking with this. A lot of this vision you're gonna see um, is his and the culmination of everyone he's spoken with with the community. And again, um, couldn't have done it without you. So thank you so much. Um, as part of this, the CAT Community Project was identified in 2018 as the ideal community partner nonprofit fundraising umbrella for the project. CAT CP, as I mentioned, has completed over 24 community revitalization projects to date with a mission to give back to the community. And they've raised over $400,000 to date to complete the park. 35 funders, sponsors, community partners, construction partners have stepped up to make this project happen. A huge push, we are almost at 300 custom pavers purchased by community members to help support this project. Almost $100,000. So again, that's specifically speaking to the grassroots. I don't even need a mic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh, there we're back. Okay. Um, I want to acknowledge that keep th keeping this moving along, and there's lots of people uh, to be acknowledged. Our funders, sponsors, and community par partners, Alibi Craft Ale Brewery, Arts for the Schools, East River Public Relations, the Joseph Foundation, the Kosla Family Fund. They are being named uh, in the West Pergola Bench. The Martis Camp Foundation, named in the West Pergola. The Tahoe Forest Health Systems. Tahoe Mountain Resorts Foundation. Tahoe Truckee Community Foundation. And uh, they are being named in the Artist Mural. The Truckee Donner Public Utility District. Uh, we received a conservation re, uh, rebate grant for the irrigation and lighting systems, and, and, and that was one of the very first um, uh, contributions and grants that we received almost two years ago, and we've been able to maintain that while waiting for the part to start. The Truckee Downtown Merchants Association, Truckee Rotary, Truckee Rotary Foundation, the Truckee Tahoe Airport District, which will be named after the amphitheater here. Uh, Nevada County, the State Park Grant, and then we have acknowledgement for our construction team, uh, Mark Tanner Construction, and I'd like to give special thanks uh, to Jen with Mark Tanner Construction. 
I threw this on Jen about six to eight months ago when we were starting to feel we might come out of COVID. And the reality, I'm like, Jen, I know we have a full plate, but I need you to do this. And between Jen and Kelly, what you've seen, the groundbreaking, the starting, getting more collaboration from our community members um, on the construction side, she's taken this on personally and really making this happen. I want to thank you so much for, for, for helping with this. Again, uh, with the full park design and architecture, Patrick with High, High West Landscapings. And then, I'm not sure if I see him here this morning, another good friend and longtime local, uh, Tim Critz with Grateful Gardens, um, has taken on a, a large role on the actual implementation of the landscaping. And again, couldn't have done it without him. Um, and lots of others. Armando Diaz Masonry, Al Pombo, Blacktop Paving, Bobby Jones Concrete, Casey Wood. They are going to be named on the East Pergola, CED Truckee, Design Outdoors, Elements Mountain Company, Ferreira Construction, Grateful Gardens, Lopez Excavating, Quick Space, Reno Tahoe Steel, Sierra Mountain Pipe and Supply, Stone Brick Woodworks, Summit Electric, Trucking North Tahoe Materials, and Western Nevada Supply. Again, just some of the few partners and contributors that are helping, and the list is growing daily, and we appreciate everyone that's contributing to this project because again, it takes a community to make this park happen. And um, as you can see, we still have a ways to go. <laughs> that being said, a ways to go. We have about $75,000 yet to raise. We still have different parks, parts of the park for naming opportunities. And so if you have a friend or other community members from buying a, purchasing a paver, to a naming opportunity, please have them get in touch with Kelly. We are this close to making this happen and we are pushing forward um, and uh, we feel we will have no problem in bridging that gap despite the challenges we've seen over the last you know, two to four years um, in making this happen. Um, the vision for the park, um, I think it's been well publicized over the last um, you know, a couple years, but everything um, from the interactive community garden, the amphitheater, we're going to be able to have, you know, uh, small music venues or performing arts from 80 to 100 people. Um, just the walkability, the accessibility, um, the playability for young kids on the interactive play structures. Um, this park is going to have a lot to offer in our downtown community. Besides just necessarily being out on, on asphalt or in sidewalks um, in, in front of our downtown area, now we have a, a, another place to go and, and add, um, add to the benefit of our community. Um, and the Parks Department, Tricky Donor Rec and Park has taken this on five years ago. The inside of the gym was done, again, through another partnership project and that has changed an old gym into a performing arts center where now different uh, performances like the Follies and uh, different music venues are, are done inside. So now we have an indoor and an outdoor venue or we will soon have an outdoor venue. Um, unlike anything else I think we can say we have in Truckee. And so this only adds um, to what I think, uh, you know, makes Truckee a really special pr place. Um, that being said, as everyone knows, I can talk way too long. I want to thank everyone. I want to bring Anna Klobestad up, Town of Truckee Mayor, uh, to say a few words and, um, and fill in any of the gaps that I missed. Thank you, Mark. And I'm going to start with, with recognition of Mark and not just his leadership on the board for Truckee Donner Recreation um, District, but also as his, a leader in our community, a 
a community um, organizer, obviously. He's got us all here. <laughs> and a visionary for what we have to come, as well as a, a local contractor and a local employer. So thank you, Mark. I would also like to thank all of the other leadership that is um, that is here today and has contributed to this vision. I see members from all sorts of special districts and Truckee has many of them. So I wanna thank all of you for your leadership and vision in helping us create this for our community. This is really going to be a game changer. It is going to be a unique um, opportunity, as Mark said, for all different age ranges, activities, and needs. It's a true community downtown revitalization project and one that has been long since needed. In particular, I would also like to recognize and thank the leadership of the Truckee Donner Parks and Rec District, uh, Steve Randall. We could not have accomplished this without you. And their board. The collaboration between the different agencies, particularly with the CAT board and the Truckee Donner Parks and Rec board is uh, one of the things that I love about our community. They saw a shared common goal and they worked diligently for four years to get here. So thanks to the um, CAT board as well as the Truckee Donner Parks and Rec District board. And lastly, I want us all to look to our neighbor next to us and recognize how nice it is to see their faces. It is such a pleasure to see each and every one of you. We had our first in-person public meeting last night and it was heartwarming and phenomenal. I am, um, I am deprived of hugs, so I'm going to go around and be giving hugs to everybody because I'm so excited that we can do this again. <laughs> All right, and with that, I believe we have Kelly, who is going to come up and do some introductions. So again, thank you everybody for being here and for su supporting this project. I look forward to my brick, and if you haven't purchased one yet, get one now. Thank you, Anna. Okay, well this is officially a golden shovel sod turning ceremony. So I'm gonna pull Steve Randall and I'd love to pull up Jen as well to stand with me behind the podium and invite up the shovel honorees to come and grab a shovel. And then what we're gonna do, we've got Chris Bartowski, our videographer for the park project, who's also doing a time lapse. Thanks for being here, Chris. Who's gonna take a still of everyone with their shovels, and then there's actually gonna be an action shot with them after a, a countdown. Oh. Um, okay, at five. Five, five four, four, three, 